hey you guys so I am here vlog style today I feel like I have a smudge on the lens hold on just a second okay I think that's better um so yeah you guys my camera's like crooked sorry guys I'm just in shambles right now okay better okay you guys so um it's a Saturday night it's about to be Sunday or it is Sunday it's 12.07 a.m on a Saturday it is well on Sunday <laughs> it's February 10th so basically you guys I am just <laughs> coming vlog style because I'm just trying to like get stuff done um and I feel like it's just hard for me to just like film like it's so hard it's so much stuff to do getting ready for the baby coming like any day basically and today actually I had basically like false labor which I assumed it was I didn't call my doctor or, like go into labor and delivery or anything I kind of knew it was false labor but I was having like these really consistent contractions that actually hurt they were hurting and um, they were like every like three to four minutes for like two hours straight and I was just I don't know I kind of felt like um, my uterus was just freaking out but not I don't know I just didn't feel like I was in actual labor and of course after a few hours they kind of just tapered off and now I have one like every now and then um, and I've been getting the Braxton Hicks so much already so but it but it felt way different than that so I don't know maybe it's soon I'll be 37 weeks on Tuesday and so I don't know I just feel like I need to get everything ready so that's kind of like what I'm gonna be doing I actually just did my nails um, now they look dry because I just put alcohol on them and my skin's dry I need to wash my face um, which I'm sure I'll be doing here pretty soon anyway but I'm sitting here at the vanity so I can take my contacts out um, but anyway so what I'm gonna be doing tonight is just getting as much stuff ready as I can I kind of have like a list of stuff that I want to get done the list is in my head and you know honestly with pregnancy brain <laughs> the list is like basically doesn't exist <laughs> but I'm going to try my best to just get a few things done. I want to finish getting the hospital bag packed. Um, and I put like his stuff, um, the baby stuff in the, in my hospital bag. And I want to take it out and put it in the diaper bag and then add Daniel's stuff to the hospital bag. Right now I'm taking my contacts out. I'm going to put my glasses on. Oh! Oh. I thought I just dropped my whole contact contact case. Sorry if I sound a little congested. I've been congested every single night. Okay, glasses on. I love these glasses. These glasses are from Firmu. Firmo. Firmu. I think it's called Firmu. Like this. Anyway, so basically, um, while I'm sitting here, I might as well tell you guys about the glasses because these were sent to me for free and I told go, them go that, there hold on hulu not ready um i told them i would tell you guys about them um so let me let me just try to figure out what they wanted me to say <laughs> i'm gonna put like the frame number and everything about these glasses in the down bar um these ones i really like them um, they were actually ones that were for like a narrow face. I don't know if I have a narrow face. I guess I do. But they fit me really well and I really, really like them. So that was a plus. Um, so I'll put all that stuff in the description box. Because um, I don't have the details right now. Um, so yeah. This was actually my first time buying glasses online. And it was surprisingly... It was kind of easy like the problem I had is that they asked for something specific that my ratchet eye doctor didn't put on my prescription and so it's kind of the distance between like both peoples and I had to google what it was and then I had to try to like measure it myself in a really ghetto way so that was the only thing but it worked out because I can see great out of my glasses so that was the only thing that was a little hard but everything else was super easy as far as picking these glasses out 
um they have a thing where you can put your face in and it'll like scan it and then you can like try different ones on but mine wouldn't work so yeah i don't know if it was like my web browser or what the problem was but i didn't get to use that feature however it was still you know a good experience i must say um i really do like the glasses i actually love them i was in need of a new pair of glasses because um these are my old glasses number one they're old i know they look gross and zara snapped the end off of them and they were just they were just done they were done and so i didn't have any glasses to wear and then like almost when my glasses broke they emailed me and i took like months to email them back probably just because um i was having morning sickness at the time and i just couldn't be bothered even though i knew i needed new glasses and i was like let me try them out the prices you guys are crazy crazy like these base price i think were like like 20 something dollars i want to say they were like 23.99 as the base price and then you can add things on i think they would have came to like 40 something dollars but that's really good for prescription glasses and they're not like cheap feeling at all they feel really nice really high quality really sturdy they come with like this uh cloth they come with a case it's not anything a special case it's just a case but i mean for like 40 bucks and then you get like the special coatings and stuff like that i think it's definitely a win so i'll leave all the information about these glasses down below but yeah um i'm going to get some stuff together and then bring you guys with me to try to get closer to being ready for this baby to come in case he decides to pop out out of nowhere and i'm caught off guard and i just want to be ready because i just i feel so not ready so i need to finish packing the hospital bag finish packing um yeah my stuff his stuff Daniel's stuff and then I also need to do my hair um I know that's like a kind of related not really um I want to straighten my hair for when I'm going to be in labor I just think it'll be easier to not have to worry about my natural hair because with Zara I just had like a big curly mop on the top of my head for like days and I just look kind of crazy like I didn't feel like enough polished or put together enough for me i just felt very like i don't know it was already like a very primal experience and then i looked like a lion i just needed something more tame <laughs> i think for me for this time um so i want to straighten my hair but um until then until the end of this week hopefully you know he doesn't come yet i want him to come in like the next two to three weeks you know that would be great but I'm going to put my hair in two feet and braids. I'm going to film that for you guys so you guys can see how I do those. Um, but yeah, um, other than that, I can't really think of anything else specifically. I do have, I'm going to show you guys his room. I have a bunch of laundry that I washed his stuff. Yeah, I have it. I don't have anywhere to put it away, honestly. Um, a couple things I can hang up, but most of the stuff like onesies and stuff, like I wouldn't hang that stuff up. Um, and you'll see why I have nowhere to put it <laughs> when I get in there. But anyway, um, I'll see you guys in a few minutes once I kind of like set everything up. Alright you guys, so I am walking into our back room which is basically our closet. Oh, Hulu again. Um, and don't judge, okay guys, this room. It's not, <laughs> it's basically just a room with racks and this is like where all my clothes are. Um, but this is where I'm packing the hospital bag. So this is the stuff here that I'm attempting to pack. This is the diaper bag and this is the me and Daniel's bag. So let's see what we can do. So sorry that the lighting in here is not the best, but um, I'm in here trying to sort out all this baby stuff versus um, our stuff and just for the hospital. So this is the baby's diaper bag. There's a changing pad in here, which I'm sure I probably will end up needing, but it goes in here, so that's where it's going to be. Um, for the baby, um, I just packed, like, some clothes and stuff, so I'm going to just try to put all this stuff in the bag. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to need, and I don't know if I should do, like, a what's in my hospital bag video. I did one with Zara. And I looked back at the video and I was like, disgusted. <laughs> I was just like, 
what was I thinking? Like, what was I thinking? I mean, obviously, I hadn't been a mom before. And I think I was trying to, like, underthink it instead of, like, overthink it. But I think I just made the whole thing really weird. Like, the clothes that I packed to go home in were, like, clothes that, like, I never wore. They were, like, clothes that I would just wear if I was cleaning or something. And I call, call myself wanting to be comfortable. But I'm like, girl, you want to look good. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to look decent and feel decent. And that might have been part of the reason I felt so crappy after having her. Um, but anyway, so I just put everything that I have for the baby in this bag. So this is what the bag will bring. Honestly, it's just clothes, swaddling stuff, and like, um, nursing cover, stuff like that. Because I never used any of the diapers or any of that stuff that was in the bag when I was at the hospital. Um, they just had everything I needed there. So why use my own when I can use the ones the hospital gets. So that's that. I have like some like necessity type stuff in here already. Um, so yeah. I'm just going to try to try my best to I already packed my side. I need to take those shirts that are seriously Hey you guys. So my camera decided that it was going to tell me that it was overheating and you know whatever whatever it does that after you film for like 15 minutes it gets overheated so I just came downstairs to get a little snack <laughs> I already had one of these today so I don't care so I'm gonna have this and then um, let me show you guys in the dining room what's going on So in the dining room, this is where we kind of like stash like baby stuff <laughs> and packages that come in. And then I take stuff upstairs and like put it away. And then some of it just still ends up staying in here somehow. So there's still a lot of stuff that we need to take upstairs. But let me just show you what's going on. Okay, you guys. So this is the non-functioning dining room with the tacky paint color and this ratchet tablecloth <laughs> on this table. Anyway, um, before my ice cream melts. Um, so this bag actually looks almost identical to the baby's diaper bag, but it's not as good a quality. But this came with the breast pump. Um, so my breast pump is in here. I got the Spectra. I think the Spectra 2. Hold on, let me see if I can unzip this. And this is the Spectra breast pump which a lot of reviews are saying that it's better than the Medela one. So hopefully that's a good pump for me because I do plan on pumping this time. These are some presents that need to get taken upstairs. Over here we have some like diapers and stuff. Um, this is just like mailing stuff that came in. Oh, uh oh. Over here is um, the car seat which we actually need to put in the car. That's That would be helpful. But for now, it's right here. And then we, um, the double stroller is, I put it together and it's just hanging out in here. That's the hard chair that we had from Zara, which is awesome. And then just like a random thing. So um, in here is just kind of some stuff that I just need to like sort out still, this blanket. Someone at my parents' church made this back from back home and it's so soft i love it i'm gonna take that to his room and yeah that's pretty much it so um that's all that's going on down here baby wise the baby's room is like just well let's just go, go see shall we and i'm gonna be quiet because it's late like i said and sorry sleeping so i don't want to wake her up so you guys, this is currently how the baby's room looks. <laughs> so we did paint in here. Uh, Daniel painted in here. And we just have an accent wall that's green. Um, we have really cool inspo for his room for how it's supposed to look. Um, but obviously we haven't gotten very far. And yeah, um, there's no furniture. There's no crib, no changing table, no rocking chair. 
nothing in here right now um so this room is still work in progress but the closet the closet is coming i mean it has stuff in it have some diapers in here and then like some shelves and then these are all like hand-me-down shoes from zara that were unisex and a couple other like just random things in here these are all like the um the, not these but these are like pillows that need the covers put back on because i washed them and so i need to go through the laundry and figure all that stuff out but yeah this is like this is a really bad view it doesn't look as bad from the other angle but um i do want to redo his closet and zara's closet that would make them like really dope but for now this is how they look so as you guys can tell so not ready to have a baby yet <laughs> i mean if the baby came obviously we would be fine um we would work it out you know but i don't know i just it's like i feel like it's gonna be that much harder to do it to, to do this stuff after he's here i know a lot of people are like oh he's not gonna sleep in his room right away and all this and that which i get but it's gonna be that much harder to try to put all that stuff together after the fact i mean i'd rather just have it ready you know so i don't know i'm just gonna sit on my bed right now and eat my ice cream and watch some hulu um i wanted to do my hair tonight but i'm just feeling like too tired to do it and i don't want to i don't want to get overtired because when i went into labor with zara i went into the hospital at 11 p.m and i hadn't been to sleep since the night before that so since i went at 11 p.m i stayed up all night walking trying to progress the labor and then when i was in labor the next morning and afternoon it was like i was so tired because i had been up for like like so many hours and i just want to make sure that i don't get i'm not too tired before i go into labor so that I can really make it through without with like a better chance of not dying <laughs> I'm just kidding not not dying but like you know what I mean like just not feeling like before like I just felt so bad after and I think if I had more rest before I wouldn't have felt as bad after you know so I'm just trying to watch out for that and I just I don't know I just don't feel like doing my hair right now so I think I probably won't Probably just relax a little bit but yeah um i'll probably pick up this vlog with me doing some more baby stuff eventually um let me show you guys what i did in the that ice cream is gonna be a freaking puddle by the time we get to it but let me at least show you guys what i packed in the baby's bag and um the, well that i finished packing these bags okay so basically I have my stuff over here sorry about the bra that's my favorite nursing bra that i had from zara and i can't find it anywhere anyway i have our stuff packed in here i took the baby stuff out i put the baby stuff in this bag here which is the diaper bag which i said looks similar to the other bag and then here i just have like stuff for the hospital i don't have any like real clothes in here yet um oh yeah i was supposed to add those t-shirts okay i'll do that but um these are all like more like lounge clothes, nothing to like really go home in. I'll have to figure that part out because I just don't know what I want to wear yet. <laughs> but yeah, so at least I got this stuff mostly situated to the point to where if something were to happen, we could grab these and go, you know. Um, so we should be good on that front. So like I said, just going to relax for a few minutes and decompress. I'm going to turn these lights out. There's a lot of lights on. Um. Let me turn this light back here out. But yeah, I'm getting out of breath everything that I do. <sighs> this is what I'm wearing um, currently. I look really crazy, but I just have on some sweatpants and a cropped sweatshirt with a tank top, all black. This is the worst lighting to be like, look at my outfit. It's not an outfit, really. It's just what I'm wearing at home. But anyway, you guys, um, I'll catch up with you guys when I end up doing a little bit more. I thought I was going to be doing more tonight, but like I said, I'm feeling kind of tired and I'm going to listen to my body. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys a little bit later. Hey, guys. So, I'm currently at home and 
I'm a little out of breath. I just went to the car to get the camera um, so I can show you guys what I'm doing. It is a Tuesday night and basically I went to um, At Home, which is like a home decor store here, and I bought a huge canvas that had like some ugly thing on it and I was like, I'm gonna just paint over this because it was on clearance. And I ended up getting it for like $20, I think. And it was originally like 80, so I did really good because it's huge. However, um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to paint on it, <laughs> so I kind of started painting like these lines, like this line pattern that looked really cool, but then I just felt like it didn't really work for the space. And so we still have to paint the walls in here. It's for the living room, which is the room that I'm in. It has very minimal, it has no decor. Like this stuff is left over from Christmas and it's not even, it's not even a thing. So um, I originally wanted to do that like black and white pattern, but I didn't like how it was like flowing in the space. And I was like, maybe I'll just paint something really funky over it. And then I painted, this is like a month l later. I, then I painted like this lion head, like I wanna show you guys. And now I'm like, why did I do that? Like that does not go in here at all. It's like literally so off. So now I'm going to paint over the whole thing white again. Um, and then I'm going to paint a monstera leaf, maybe like, one or two or three, I don't know yet, but I'm gonna put um, some leaves on it, just like really plain white background with the green leaves and I think it'll flow in here a lot better. <sighs> it's been a lot of work and I don't know what I'm thinking, but let me show you guys what it looks like, because it's so crazy, like I don't even know what I was thinking. It was late one night and I just was impulsive and it's so bad. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> it's like, what? So this is like the pattern that I had started doing with these lines, which was actually looking cool. And then I ended up doing like these beige swipe things over top of it and then putting the line on it. I don't know. Whatever happened that night, I wasn't in my right mind. So I'm going to try to salvage this and make it look good. We shall see how it turns out. But I kind of wanted to update you guys. This is basically just turning into like a vlog. Because there's a ton of stuff that I do want to do before the baby gets here. And that night I started this vo um, vlog. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the night I started this vlog, I really didn't do that much else. So I'm waiting on some Postmates and I'm just going to try to work on this and get it done. And yeah, hopefully I can, hopefully I can cover the, the what's on there easily because it's kind of like very graphic and bold, but we're just gonna go with the flow and see what happens and hope for the best. So that's what I'm up to tonight and I'll keep you guys updated along the way on the progress. But yeah, um, I can show you guys down here too. I didn't show you guys this before, but this is the little corner that I have set up for when the baby comes. So we got just like the mini diaper genie for down here, which I think would be nice to have. We didn't do that last time. And then um, I have a little diaper caddy. There was some wipes, but Daniel took them out um, in this section. Some little, tiny little newborn diapers. Oh my God, they're so little. I really can't, I'm, I'm so not ready. Every time I look at one of these diapers, I'm like, okay, no, I'm not ready. Some powder, even though I don't think that I'm gonna be needing that right away. Some pacifier wipes are just like cleaning wipes and that's all that's really in here right now. I need to add some like breastfeeding stuff for in here and have this all ready for down here. This is like a changing table to change him and this is just something that we can like lay him in for when he needs to lay down I guess down here. So that's that. I also have a rock and play which I'll probably use more as something that I can kind of like move around like if I want to put it in the kitchen or if I want to take it around the house, um, I can use that too. And I had that from when I had Z, so that's great. But anyway, that's all that's going on here. Like I said, I'll keep you guys updated on the progress of this painting and hopefully it turns out good. So we shall see. Just ordered some Postmates. I just got a sub sandwich and some french fries. Guys, okay, it is past 2 a.m. I've literally been 
doing this forever and it's not done but it's looking so good I'm so excited I look crazy okay you guys want to see it look how cool so of course there's gonna be another leaf here and another little piece of a leaf here and a stem on this one and it'll probably be flipped the opposite way so I don't know I might leave it this way or flip it the other way it doesn't really matter but it looks so good. I think it's going to add like the perfect amount of color without doing too much. And I just think it looks really cool. So I'm super excited. Um, ignore my mountain of coats on the thing in this baby doll. But the painting itself, it's not done. But you know, it's coming together. It's looking pretty cool. So I'm pretty excited. So basically, it's time for me to go to bed and get some rest. But I can't wait to finish this and get it up on the wall. Hopefully Daniel likes this one because he was like, um, the lion is interesting. He's like, it's not going in here. And I'm like, no, I know. It looks crazy. Then he was like, you can put it in the baby's room. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I need to do something else that I actually like. And here it is. So I'm super excited. But like I said, I'm tired and I need to go to bed. So I'm going to catch up with you guys probably tomorrow. I don't know how long this vlog will go on, but I'm out of breath just from talking. <laughs> but yeah. All right, you guys. I will see you when I see you.